So this is, I believe, an important uh, session with respect to our priorities. Even more so because this year, as you know, marks uh, 50 years uh, of, uh, I mean, after the 1967 war. So uh, you will not be surprised if I tell you that there are three uh, key messages with respect to the Middle East peace process. Number one, 50 years of occupation. This means that it is time for the international community to re-engage, this is the key word, uh, in the resumption of discussions between the parties. And all that goes toward a re-engagement, in our views, is positive from each and every key player. Number two, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is the longest conflict in the Middle East. It's in many respects a structural conflict in the region but it's also the only conflict whose solu solution is perfectly identified. We all know the parameters of a solution. It is a two-state solution, and there is no alternative. Fran France's position is, has always been and is still very, very clear on this point. And thirdly, in Gaza, the solution comes with, in our views, with the restoration of the control of the Palestinian government under the authority of Mahmoud Abbas. Uh, uh, and again, this, this is a very important point. So that's the three points I wanted to, to tell you about, uh, about the important meeting that we are about to have. Any other question? Because I have to run. Are you expecting a vote this week on the G5? Uh, on this, I must say that very good progress has been made with respect to our draft resolution on Security Council support to the G5 side of force. I believe we are uh, at the uh, final stage of, of the negotiations. So we are finalizing our draft resolution in order to uh, get the largest possible support within the Security Council. Uh, so uh, the sooner the better, to answer your question. But we are, we are almost there, quite frankly. And as I told you, I believe yesterday, negotiations have, have been uh, going uh, well in a good spirit. And at this stage, I'm, I'm really confident. Quite frankly, the recent events in uh, the region, in Mali in particular, only confirm that it is urgent to act uh, and uh, urgent that the Security Council bring its uh, full support to the G G5 style joint uh, joint force. So here we are. Okay, I run. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.